A-I-T-A-H for smashing a little girl's face in the cake. I am not the oop. Oop is you, efficient respond 84. A-I-T-A-H for smashing a little girl's face in the cake. Originally posted to R, A-I-T-A-H. Trigger warning. Infertility issues. Still bith. Mention of faking illness for attention. Less than. Original post September 9, 2023. Throw away for obvious reasons. Yesterday we had a delayed birthday party for my nephew. 8 meters. As he had his appendix removed during his birthday. In a long line of illnesses that he has had over the last few years that was the most reason issue. He was born premature. The last two years it was immediate family only. This year we went all out. We got the bouncy castle. A chocolate fountain. Booked tickets for go-karts for next weekend. A big cake with different marzipan roses and plant leaves molded in chocolate from different trees. He is very interested in botany and insects. The cupcakes also had different flowers. Leaves and insects on them. This cost my sister a lot as they were painstakingly made due to the details. My brother-in-law's friend is married to a woman that is a bit special. He is not a very close friend but he is included in events. They were both married previously and have three. Him. And two. Her. Children from previous relationships. All of them above 15. They do have a 10-year-old daughter. Megan. Together known as their rainbow baby as she was born after two IVF rounds. Four miscarriages and one stillbirth. She will gladly tell everyone about her health. Journey to conception and miracle baby even if you try to shut her up. She wore a cream-colored dress at my sister's wedding. Upstaged another friend of hers proposal by announcing her pregnancy. When her own sill graduated she fake being ill as she has only gone as far as college and not beyond. And couldn't take the attention her sill was getting. She fakes fainting spells when she doesn't get the attention she needs. Her daughter does the same. She will fake a seizure when the conversation topic moves on from her etc. At the party I was in charge of food and I set up the cakes. Cupcakes and other refreshments in the front room as there would be lots of children running around. And we didn't want grubby hands all over them before my nephew blew out the candles. Megan kept disturbing me going in and out of the room and her mother egged her on. She asked if she could take pictures of Megan eating a cupcake and then they would join the others. In the garden. I said no and locked the door after I had set everything up and put the key in my bag. After about an hour or so of games people started to move towards the table area and my sister. Asked me to go get the candles and cake ready. Megan ran ahead of me and as I entered the hallway she unlocked the door which to me was a surprise as the key should have been in my bag. Her mother was almost shoulder to shoulder with me when Megan dipped her nose and cheeks in the cake and had this deranged trying to be cute smile on her face. She picked one of the flowers of the cake and ate it. Her mother cheered her on and took a picture before I could react saying that the first pick of the flowers was hers anyway for being special. A few more people were in the hallway at this point including my nephew and sister. He didn't look happy. I don't know what came over me. But I walked up to Megan and smashed her head into the cake. The aftermath was not pretty. Her mother started screeching which brought more people into the small hallway and the front room. Megan started crying and her father threatened to do some not so nice things to me before my brother-in-law managed to interfere. He had to literally drag him out of the house. Some people in the crowd laughed others stayed quiet. Then those who missed it asked questions and I explained what happened. Megan and her mother who were still in the room tried to justify their actions even saying that I was the one that ruined the cake. Others sided with me that nobody wanted to eat a cake with Megan Boggers. In the end they left. My sister has cancelled Megan and her family's go-kart tickets. She also billed Megan's mother for the cake. 
Megan's mother forwarded the bill to me via a WhatsApp message and I refused to pay for it. She said what her daughter did was fixable. But how I reacted was not. She also billed me for Megan's dress dry cleaning. I have no intention of paying that either. There has been quite a commotion on Facebook and WhatsApp groups as my sister is threatening with. Small claims court. Older generations say I am the asshole as I reacted inappropriately. AITAH for making a mountain out of a molehill. Relevant comments. Signal historian 456. NTA what the hell? Why exactly is this family invited at all? And what did the dads say to each other? Oop replied. There was some shouting on the driveway. Her father sent me threatening text. My bill wasn't happy about it. They went to discuss the matter at the local pub. Couple of the other guys went to mediate. They are not back yet. Oop on if she apologized to her nephew. Thanks for the thoughtful reply. I have already apologized to him and as he is still upset about the cake today I told him I would. Make it up to him. He says he knows the cake was ruined due to Megan's behavior but was still sad that his birthday. Party became about Megan and her mother. Even when the children were done eating the remainder of the food they talked about the incident. And didn't talk to much about his party. Thinking back I guess I should have put her mother's face in the cake. Oh well. Done is done and I don't have a time machine. Update September 17, 2023. I ended up paying for the dry cleaning and apologized to Megan. Megan's father agreed to and paid for the cake and some extra cash to make up for a ruined birthday. Megan's mother is banned from future family events. Her father will only be invited to certain things minus his wife and Megan. My nephew has put it behind him and I will take him to an amusement park of his choice and pay for him and his closest friends. This is a repost sub IAM not the oop. The update is reasonable, which is amazing since the whole conflict is caused by unreasonable behavior to begin with. What is with this rainbow baby thing and making them so special i.e. spoiled and precious and entitled? Where did this label come from? Are they supposed to be the previous lost children? Many 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 couples have had miscarriages or failed IVF. I had two misses. One just before I got pregnant again. I don't forget. But I didn't raise an entitled spoiled unmannered brat either. Can someone please update me on how many cake smashing posts buff helpy69 has seen recently? With some kids I've met. I get the temptation to shove the kid's face in the cake. But you don't let the intrusive thoughts win. Thinking, ooh, she could use a good face full of cake, is one thing. Actually doing it is wholly another. That kid's behavior was clearly a reflection of her upbringing. As a fancy cake maker, just wanted to remind anyone with any cake smashing urges that we often put dowels, long, tough sticks, in those things for stability. You could blind or even kill someone. Having said that, I feel ash, only because I agree with op, should have done it to the mother, not the child. What an appalling woman, egging her daughter on to ruin a birthday cake? She deserves to be declared a social pariah. Stuck at home with her daughter while the rest of the family is invited to family gatherings. As a cake decorator please for the love of cake don't smash people's faces into cake. We often use supports and you can absolutely lose an eye. This is like the second cake smashing one I've seen recently. My brother-in-law's friend is married to a woman that is a bit special. He is not a very close friend but he is included in events. They were both married previously and have three. Him. And two. Her. Children from previous relationships. All of them above 15. They do have a 10-year-old daughter. Megan. Together known as their rainbow baby as she was born after two IVF rounds.
four miscarriages and one stillbirth. She will gladly tell everyone about her health. Journey to conception and miracle baby even if you try to shut her up. I've read this story a couple times now and I still can't figure out why these people are being invited to events for children their children aren't friends with and aren't related to. I get the first few birthdays because babies are barely sentient and don't care. But at 8 it seems like maybe the guest list should be determined by the kid's friends? Honestly they should put another party for the nephew maybe not as fancy as the first one and rub it on Megan and her mom's face. She will gladly tell everyone about her health. Journey to conception and miracle baby even if you try to shut her up. She wore a cream-colored dress at my sister's wedding. Upstaged another friend of hers proposal by announcing her pregnancy. Until this end bit. I thought Oop was still talking about the kid. Nope. It's the mom. I wonder who rifled through OOP's bag for the key. Have I taken crazy pills or something? How do so many people think OP's reaction is understandable or acceptable? Maybe working in childcare has made me overprotective but I cannot believe so many people think. Assaulting a child out of anger is okay. This is like the second cake smashing one buff helpy 69 has seen recently guys. So we can full body slam kids into cakes now? Regardless of how awful the child and mother were, you don't do that to a kid. Kicking them out would have been justified. But physically assaulting a child is not. How hard is it to say, your daughter's behavior is unacceptable? And so is your enabling and encouraging it. Please leave my house now? Quote. OOPs got issues if their first instinct was to assault a child. Who's not even related to them? And escalate the situation. How bad is it that I laughed out loud when Oop smashed the ten yo face into the cake and pictured it? Maybe it's just the fact that I work with kids but like. Bruh, you assaulted a child. It gaff how annoying and selfish said child was being. It is the adult's job to control their own behavior. How in God's name did this get voted NTA? If this was one adult doing this to another adult, I'd still say it was kind of a dick move. But a grown-ass adult? To a child? I usually really don't like the idea of cake smashing on the face but with has happened. I feel like the situation is understandable. Though the cake shouldn't have go onto the kid. Instead the cake should have gone into the mother's face cause the mother is really the problem for letting this behavior to happen. Jerk move for sure but sometimes you gotta do some jerkish thing. I get why Oop was upset. But it would be far easier to cut off the parts Megan touched and still serve the cake if her face hadn't been smashed into it. Plus, the smashing is what really took all the attention off the poor nephew. She did ruin the cake for the nephew. But it was still possible to recover things if the situation was treated with maturity. And this is all really the mom's fault. The child is 10. The mom was the one encouraging all this. Making the child think it would be an okay thing to do. Megan needs to be taught that it's not okay. But smashing her face into the cake won't teach her anything. It was just an adult taking anger out onto a literal child. She could have gotten seriously hurt if there were supports in that cake. Man. I just feel really bad for the nephew. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share and subscribe.